5.30 tomorrow on Channel 7. Oh, just kidding. Hi, I'm Laura Marie Taylor, and I used to be Stacy on Loving. Well, that is before Stacy became the serial killer's first victim. Now, Alex and Tony are getting closer to unmasking my murderer, but we're going to give you a second chance to look for some clues. See if you can figure out who done it by watching this encore presentation of The Loving Murders. Jacob Foster. I'm Lorraine. Now, Bree has told me about you. Mm, good or bad? Good. Nothing but good. Well, then in that case, she's a cool little lady. Oh, yeah? I kind of like her myself. Mm -hmm. Hey, now. I've never been here. Could I just... just walk around? Sure. Knock yourself out. Okay. Okay. Now, don't let me keep you. You leave it? No. Oh. Mm. Are you okay? Are you all right? Um, I've never been better. Hey, partner. Is this how you dress for a business meeting? Well, what did you want me to wear? A three-piece suit? Could have worn something. Is this meeting in the doorway, or may I come in? We haven't seen each other. When was that limousine ride? Right? Let's just get down to business, Tess. Oh, all efficiency tonight, are we? Time is money. Did you make that up? Let's see the contract. Okay, uh, listen, the only change being that the difference is... Never mind the details, Tess. because Comet cleans tough baked on grease faster than the other gels. When others can't cut it, Comet can. In 1927, Harry Lender brought one important skill to the new world. He knew how to make a most delicious bagel. He boiled them to make them chewy, hearth baked them to make them crispy. No wonder Lender's is the most popular bagel in America. Lender's, every bagel should be this good. 
Did you see how Clay kept staring at this brandy ball? Well, you better keep your eye on it because this brandy's a major clue to figuring out the murderer. And a little more slider. There we go. Thank you. And you want to keep working around the clock, you've got to keep your strength up. I'm not working around the clock. Yes, about. Well, I tell you, a lot of people are on vacation. And you're the only one who can come for them. I don't mind. You welcome it. I hardly say that. Ezra, it's a charo. We've met. Okay. Keeps me from thinking about Stacy. There. That wasn't so bad, was it? Honey, I'm sorry. For what? For leaving you alone like this. For being moody. Being a pain. Hey, 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 come here. Now, I gotta warn you. If you ever start putting yourself down, I'll be forced to tell you once again just how wonderful you really are. Well, then I consider myself warned. Consider yourself loved. Very much. Thank you. Good. Now, what is a good-looking man like you doing at the office after hours? Where's your lady? <laughs> well, I'm fresh out of ladies. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I got, um, an inner ear thing. <laughs> I lose my balance sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, um, I've had a problem with that inner ear thing myself from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> I hear coffee's supposed to be really good for that, though. No, now. I've been enough problems. Oh, come on. It's not a problem at all. Milk or sugar? Black. Thank you. Be careful, this is really hot, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, you're a Bree's mother. I find that completely hard to believe. I know. She's beautiful. She's smart. Well, she's graceful. So what happened? You had her when you were two. Now, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> so what happened to her? Her? Who her? The lady we were discussing. The one you lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm having a little trouble following this conversation. Could it be that inner ear thing is contagious? I don't know. Just the sad eyes gives you away. Bree says you write music. Sad song? Sometimes. Yeah. I used to sing sad songs. <laughs> you know why it wasn't bad? I was a little bit of Billy Holiday. I think we all start there. It's <laughs> not a bad place to start. Mm-mm. But I have my own style coming in, you know? I even got paid. Well, pennies, but... You know, getting money, doing something you love. It's nice. Yeah, here you go. So, you still singing? Oh, now, do I look like a successful blues singer? Well, I thought maybe you left your entourage at home. Oh, <laughs> what I left at home was my good sense. Well, I went... I went and got pregnant. Anyway, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. You okay? No, I'm fine, I'm what? fine. I'm just a grateful. No, no, that looks pretty bad. No. I need to try to get to the hospital. I don't need uh -huh. to go to a hospital, hey, Jacob, please. Hold on, Wait, you now, what are you doing? I'm mad hot. I'm gonna leave a, a note for Bree, okay? I think I'm okay. No, I don't think so. Come on, I'm gonna take a look at that. Let's go. Okay. All right? Can you walk on? Yeah, fine. <laughs>
I felt for you. How much I loved you. But Buck... Buck killed any chance we had at happiness. And when someone kills... They have to be punished. And he will be punished. I promise you that, darling. This without even looking we at could it. haggle for a bit if you would prefer. No, no, no. Well, you came prepared to do battle, didn't you, Tess? I came prepared to do a little persuading. I'm persuaded. Leave it alone. Okay. Okay, what do you want, Clay? For you, Tess, nothing. Well, I don't know whether I should thank you or slap you. No one talks intended, Tess. I'm serious about that drink. Just a drink. I have no agenda whatsoever. That might be an all-time first for you. I would take advantage if I were you. Oh, I think I will. I mean, I might even be able to give Hotline a hot tip with that one. Yeah, Clay Alden exposed for the useless fraud that he is, film at 11. Well, you must have had some day. How about that drink? I would love to have a drink. But Cabot and Isabel aren't exactly my biggest fans. They're out for the evening. Well, in that case, allow me. Name your poison. All too soon, there'll be ballet lessons and boys at the front door. But for now, just Johnson's Baby Hurts with Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Clinically proven as gentle to her eyes as pure water and the number one choice of hospitals. The ways of the world can wait. Now, while you can, protect them, shelter them. Johnson's baby them. The next time you go to the dentist, he can improve the way you care for your teeth and gums without drilling or buzzing a thing. And all you have to do is this. Introducing Crest Plus Gum Care. It not only helps fight cavities, it can actually control the bacteria that harm your gums. It's the only toothpaste proven to help get your gums healthier. New Crest Plus Gum Care. It's just what the dentist ordered. Reveal the natural beauty of your wood with Pledge. Pledge has cleansing conditioners to gently lift dirt and fingerprints. So you see that beautiful shine every time you dust. Pledge, let the natural beauty of your wood shine through. S.E. Johnson Wax. America, you're having too much fun with this instant cream of wheat thing. Becky added berries, and it bloomed. And Billy had a ball with maple syrup. Yum! Hot cereal's supposed to be boring, but with cream of wheat, anything goes in an instant. Hey, Mr. Peanut, what's new? New platters reduce fat peanuts. 44% less fat. Does that mean I get to eat more? And the real peanuts. How do you do that? He's a genius. He's a genius. And they're honey roasted. Mmm. I'm tasting the future. Get to know Mr. Peanut. Eat your planter. Did you hear what Tess said? She asked Clay to name his poison. Poison? I'm keeping my eye on her. Honey, I know how you feel about Stacy. Believe me, I do. All I'm trying to say is you don't have to keep it all inside. Drown yourself in work. You got a husband now, baby. Drown yourself in me. You don't know how good that sounds. Open. Come on. Need someone to cover for you. I'll give you a swimming lesson. <laughs> Damn. Don't you move. Gwyn's at Corinth Towers. I think you better get over here. I've got something I want you to see. Perfect timing. What is it? Nothing. What do you got? Looks like Curtis has been a very busy boy. 
All right, man. I'll be right there. Okay, I'm sorry, honey. That was Alex. Looks like he's got a lead on, on the case he's been working. Does it have anything to do with safety? I'll check it out. Give me a rain check on that swimming lift? Yeah, honey, sure. Listen, you'll call me if there's anything important. I'll call you later. Angie, it's okay. Uh, friend of mine here, she burnt the hell out of herself with some coffee. It's really nothing. Uh, Jacob is right. Listen, go right across the hall to the cubicle over there. I'll be right in. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Well, why don't you let the doctor be the judge of that, huh? Here, have a seat. Right up there. Jacob, I hate hospitals. Give me a beat, so do I. Well, will, will you stay with me? Yeah, sure, if you want me to. Okay. I feel better already. So, tequila for old times' sake. Our limo ride hardly counts as old times. Oh. But time is relative. I'll have some brandy. Okay, brandy it is. Brandy and tequila. So why are we so down on ourselves tonight? I don't think you want to hear about it. The doctor she is in. Thank you. Talk to me, come on. I'm feeling very lonely, Tess, and I deserve to. I never really connected with anybody my entire life. Well, I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, don't mm -hmm. you? No, I don't. I play a pretty good game. Sometimes I manage to even fool myself, but in the end, it is just a game. Well, I don't mean to make light of your feelings. But you will. No, it's not that. It's just that I've been through these spiritual awakenings with you before, and I'd say in about a day or so, you're going to be your usual randy, dastardly yeah, self, well, right? Well, I'd say I'm not going to be, Tess, because this time it's got me. It all started when... Trisha decided not to come home, and since then everything has spiraled down, and now Curtis is gone, too. At least to me. Curtis isn't himself these days. Not at all himself. And a lot of his troubles are my fault. A lot of every child's troubles are his parents' fault. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Yeah, it comes yeah. with the dinner. I always said I was a lousy husband and father because I was a workaholic. That's a crock. Being a husband and father was always too hard, too much work, no fun. Now I look in the mirror, and I see an aging three-year-old. I'm getting really depressed. Well, you asked. Yes, I did, but you know what I think? I think that we both need a limo ride. Oh, really? Well, it's the driver's night off, Ted. Yeah. Well, then we can put lunch to work. Here's a night off, too. You mean that we have this whole big house to the two of us? That's Just us chickens. Well, what are we going to do to entertain ourselves? Tess. Yeah. You don't have to. I don't have to what? You don't have to give me therapy. Clay, why do you think I'm so depressed? Could it be that I depressed you? Could it be that your little... Confession made me think of somebody. And I think that she needs some therapy, too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, this doctor's in. All right, then. I'll bring the tequila. You bring the brand. Ice? Uh, not unless you think that you're going to need to cool off. with soap this morning. <laughs> Gary Oldman, Robert Duval, The Scarlet Letter, rated R, starts Friday, October 13th.
Let me introduce you to WRCW's new station manager. What? Burned lovers make miserable bosses. It's payback time. I have good problems with your show. Lies of that. All my children, ABC Daytime. If I can catch him in an act of adultery, he won't be able to take half of everything that I have. Careful what you wish for. Whoever she is, that slut's about to make me the happiest wife in America. Your niece could make it come true. One life to live weekdays on ABC Daytime. You're all nice guys. Well, oh you speak too soon. Don't you know that nice guys always finish last? Nope, nope. Seriously. I'm just not used to strangers helping me out. Thank you. How'd you get in here? Through the door. Look. I got that. After rubbing off of the pad on the desk. Buck's signature. Yeah. Looks like Curtis has been practicing. How do you know Curtis did this? What, Buck came over here and signed his name 20 times? Shoot. All we have to do is match this signature with the plane ticket purchase and we got him. We got zip. We got what? We're here illegally, Alex. We can't use this. All right. We get a warrant, we come back, and we do a little bit more rubbing. Drop it. What do you mean, drop it? Which part don't you understand? The drop part. Are you telling me you're going to let a guilty man I'm walk? I'm telling you, Alex, that I cannot go cowboy with you anymore. I'm the chief of police. i got to go by the book. I know you're not my partner anymore, but I didn't know you stopped being a cop, too. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Look, just let me get a Curtis, okay? I can get a confession out of him in five minutes. I guarantee it. You really think you can grill Curtis without sweep the Alden lawyers breathing down your neck? Mm, maybe we won't make it official. You're crazy, man. This whole damn thing's been too unofficial as All we have to do is leave, then we come back, we knock on the door, we nice Who's this we, Tonto? We, you, me, white man. Don't call me white man. Uh, look, I need a witness, right? <laughs> what better witness do I have than the chief of police? Come on, give me an inch, I will nail this guy a foot. And I'll give you the whole damn nine yards and watch you hang yourself. You know, if you and I were partners, you'd be on this like white on rice. Okay. Go for it. Thanks, Kimasabi. I'm telling you, Alex. From now on, Tonto rides alone. Clear? I owe the silver. is here with a new soft cloth-like cover huggies ultra trim are rolling into town with the softest delivery ever watch as we compare an ordinary diaper with new soft huggies go ahead feel for yourself ah so very soft 
In fact, they're a softer way to help stop leaks. New Huggies Ultra Trim with cloth-like softness. They're changing the way everyone feels about diapers. This bag is so hard to close. Mistake, no mistake. There's the hard way or the hefty way. Hefty spin sack bags. They take just one hand to close and lift. You choose the hard way or the hefty way. If you want big, we mean big muffins that are moist and fluffy and chocolatey and this easy to bake. You want Duncan Hines big new chocolate chip muffins. Duncan Hines. Hot stuff. <laughs> I know this picture piece is a major clue to figuring out the killer. I just wish I knew what it was a picture of. Anyway, keep watching. We'll get to the bottom of this. I promise. This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London. Tomorrow, what pregnant women can do to prevent premature birth. Plus, preparing your house or apartment for winter. And director William Friedkin. Good Morning America, here on ABC. Arlene reveals some shocking news to Alec that sends him off the deep end on All My Children. Today. Tonight, new five. Family man Murder and intimidation. A million-dollar heist from the mouths of America's most dangerous terrorists.